NBC4's Find a Friend is sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital. And good morning. It is a Find a Friend Tuesday here on NBC4 Midday. And with me is a great friend from Dash Animal Rescue. This is Beth Daniels. Beth, is this the first time you've been on with me? This is the first time. Ooh, don't be nervous. Everything's I'm not fine. Nervous. Everything's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having us. Uh, who have you brought here with you today? This is Sarah. Sarah is a two year old Australian cattle dog. Mm -hmm. Um, mixed with Blue Healer. She's a little timid. She is very timid. But sweet. she she hears something evidently in the background. <laughs> um, she's very sweet. She would make a great family dog and she's for adoption. She's been in our prison program for the last couple of months and we have almost half of our rescuers in the prison program, about 45 beds and they get 24 seven care from the handlers, and they also have a secondary handler for every dog. Well, that's terrific. Now, what? how does this actually work? The, the prisoners actually train the dogs? Yes. And then they, um, they train them according to what style you'd like them to be trained? Right, they have a standard set of training uh, commands. They do weekly reports to us to tell us how the dogs are doing. Of course, if we get a senior dog or a dog in the prison that um, isn't comfortable with training commands and that kind of thing, we're like, take it easy on them, let them live their senior life and just give them love. So they're happy to give us the dog's love or to train them the way we need them trained. They've been working with Sarah about her being timid. They're working on socialization. Um, her handler writes to us every week about how loving she is. Um, we haven't had anybody interested in her though. So we thought we would get her out here and get her some publicity so people could see how beautiful she is. Well, we'll see if we can change that now. If somebody was interested in adopting Sarah, how would they go about that? They would need to go to our website and put in the application. Um, we do vet checks, home checks, um, to make sure that our dogs are paired up with the right adopters. Mm -hmm. So they could go to animalrescue.org and fill out an application. Everything's right there on the website. All right. Thank you, Beth. Thanks so much for coming in. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't bad at all. All right. <laughs> Again, if you'd like to adopt Sarah, just go to their website, dashanimalrescue.org.